people who have dedicated their lives to doing that, and I'm so honored to be a part of that. Happy Independence Day. Here are the top five things that I'm grateful for as an American. Number one, I'm grateful to live in a country with such a rich history. Like any country, America's had a lot of ups and downs. Uh, from our, our high points, you know, the, the Bill of Rights, some of the other things I'm going to say that I'm grateful for here in just a minute, to deep, deep lows, the blight of slavery on our nation. I would say the blight of abortion and Roe v. Wade on our nation. We've had these highs and these lows, but throughout that whole time, God has raised up leaders in this country um, who have continued to bring forth the family values uh, that I, I think so many of us hold dear as Americans. Uh, so I'm so grateful to be a part of that history and a history that uh, also em embraces the men and women who have stood up for us and for our freedoms uh, here in America and around the world to make sure that uh, we can act on those freedoms and we can enjoy the benefits of that rich history. Number two, I'm grateful to live in a country that is so beautiful. If you haven't gotten out into your local national or state parks or just another beautiful area near you, believe me, there is a beautiful area near you, but I hope you've gotten to enjoy that. Maybe take some time this weekend to enjoy it with your family. God has given us such a beautiful country to live in and whether you're in the mountains or near the beach or uh, in the plains, which I think are personally just very beautiful, um, I'm grateful to live here. Number three, I'm grateful to live in a country where the voice of the people can make a difference. And boy, we have seen that more this year than in so many years past. We've seen the ways that when we speak out, and I, by we, I mean you and I, and the thousands of people who think like us speak out, we can make a difference, whether that's uh, against a, a runaway corporation that's uh, pushing Pride Month propaganda, or whether that's something as significant as bringing down Roe v. Wade, which we just celebrated the one year anniversary of Dobbs. I'm so grateful to live in a country where our government uh, is set up to be of the people, by the people, for the people, uh, and where our society embraces that too, and where we, we actually can make a difference. Number four, speaking of our government structure, I am so grateful to live in a country that does actually protect our fundamental rights. As a Christian, I believe that some of our rights are just given to us by God. Uh, but I love that we live in a country that actually legally recognizes and protects that, that from our founding documents that's protected. And in many states, uh, states will actually go and enumerate um, additional rights and make it clear that uh, these are the rights that we are protecting. And I love that we live in a country uh, where some of those most important rights uh, are protected. And that brings me to number five, which is the right that I'm perhaps most grateful for which is the right to worship God in this country. Um, many people, including many of our, our ancestors, didn't have the right to worship God in the way that they saw best. Um, and people around the world today sometimes don't have the right to worship Him at all. And I am so grateful to live in a country where that is not true. Uh, we have to fight for those rights every day, and uh, I'm so grateful to the people who have dedicated their lives to doing that, and I'm so honored to be a, a small part of that even in our work here at Family Policy Alliance. Uh, but the ability to worship God and to live out my faith is the best part of being an American. Whatever you're doing this weekend, whether it's by yourself or with family or friends or some combination of all of those things, I hope that you'll also take just a few minutes to think about some of the things that you're grateful for to be living in America and for what it means to be an American. With that, Happy Independence Day from all of us at Family Policy Alliance.